Hello everybody, it's Maximus with Crypto Talk. Now, is it time to bust out the bats and swing for the fences? Well, when it comes to Luna Classic, within this next coming week, we may be doing just that. Why do I feel like that? Well, let's go ahead and get right into it, and I'll show you what I mean. So, for instance, it says right here, Luna Classic's price reignites an upswing, hence why I busted out the bat. This may be the trend for the upcoming week. A highlight that it mentions is that Terra Classic's price appears to have resumed with the uptrend after a minor pullback during the last working day. Now, in regards to all this, um, last week we saw what? We saw... Uh, a hint of some bullish times, in particular for Terra Luna Classic. Um, we saw some green days. We saw some nice pumps, not just for Terra Luna Classic, but also for what? USTC. Why did we see it in particular for uh, Luna Classic? Well, it's just like it mentions right here. Uh, Luna Classic's price began to stabilize ever since the mining of new coins was halted. Moreover, the community voted and passed the Luna Classic burn proposal that destroys some of the amount of tokens during each uh, transaction. Again, I feel as though in order for us to have seen those pumps that we saw last week, like Luna Classic was uh, up over 125% on average for the week, and USTC was way over that, for instance, the reason why you saw that particularly for Luna Classic, is because of what? The two main things that had to happen was the halting of uh, the mining of new coins and then also um, the burn proposals that were not just implemented but actually being executed, right? You saw the ideas happen, they came to full fruition, you know the whole story. So those two main things. But check this out. What I think is significant and what I want to bring to you is this right here. Now on, you know, our show, uh, whether it's the Max and Larry show or just Larry by himself on Crypto Talk now, uh, we are not big fans, of course, of technical analysis, charts, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? But I'll tell you this much. Within my uh, two years, close to two years experience of, you know, trading crypto um, on a regular basis, um, these things excite me, what you see right here. The large penance. And the reason why that excites me is because I've already seen things like this happen. For instance, like with Shiba Inu. I saw it last year um, on the run-up before uh, September to October where we saw like, you know, all-time highs for Shiba Inu. And I also saw it with CRO. For instance, same, around the same time frame, I saw these large penance. And that is something you definitely don't want to turn a blind eye to because it's something you need to recognize. And with that said, like it mentions right here, the Luna Classic price is swinging with a symmetrical triangle and is about to reach the apex of consolidation. Keyword, consolidation. You want to see what? You want to see uh, Luna Classic have consolidation because that's healthy. You don't want to see it just be like a pump and dump, like some of these you know, pump and dump projects and so on. Um, some people will make the case, well, at the end of the day, you know, what caused Luna Classic was because of a pump and dump. Okay, that's true. But I'm talking about post uh, what happened from that time frame. Luna Classic in itself, you want to see the consolidation. If we can get more support lines, new support lines, this is healthy for Luna Classic moving forward. So like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Let me know what you guys think about uh, that large pennant that we just saw right there. Do you feel as though it's insignificant? Oh, does it matter? But what we really need to see is more, you know, projects, uh, you know, for instance, uh, you know, like that Metaverse one, Starship, um, you know, basically creating uh, a form of payment of Luna Classic and so on, or an NFT project. I mean, all those things are great catalysts, right? But what do you guys think? That's what I want to hear about uh, in the comments. So let me know what you think in that regards. And with that said, everybody, I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July weekend. And if anything, for today, may you all have a blessed day. And we'll see you on the next one.